telling Ron earlier, I have to drive up to State College after this today, and I'm a little bit nervous for my commute on the way home. Oh, yeah. It could yeah. be bad. Yeah, same time here. Not. Well, and, and hopefully what we were talking about was that we think that things are going to start to pick up after 3 o'clock. Hopefully you should be back by that time. I it didn't seem so. like you're going to stay that long out that Quick way. Trip. Yeah. But you do make a good point. You're going to certainly want to know where you are and where, kind of say weather aware today because we do have another round of snow that's going to be impacting us by the end of the day. We have a couple of stories really to talk about when it comes to our weather today. The first one that's going to be impacting you this morning, just how cold it is. It's 17 degrees now, actually up a degree in Pittsburgh over the last hour. Winds out to the west at 10 miles an hour. Look at just how dry we are. Dew point down to four degrees this morning. You can see those temperatures here, including Pittsburgh 17, Butler at 12, Catanning at 13, and Latrobe area coming in at 14. You factor in the winds coming in out of the west between 10 to about 15 miles an hour. Feels like about five as you're stepping out the door in Pittsburgh and zero in Butler. It's going to be cold all day long today. 28 your expected high temperature. Cloudy conditions expected as well. The good news, though, things are mainly dry this morning. So have a little bit of lake effect snow coming in off of Lake Erie. So if you are heading off to the north, be aware of that. But you can see our active warnings at least. There's nothing really along uh, I-80 and down to the south. At least it's going on right now. As we're heading into the overnight hours tonight, though, things do change. More snow expected tonight with an additional three to five inches of snow in the areas that are advised. You can see those communities right there. Overall, here's what model data continues to show us. This will be technically I'm going all the way through eight o'clock at this point, but uh, on Friday, but you can really start to see we're not expecting anything uh, late Thursday into Friday. So most of this is going to be pretty accurate to what we can expect to see overnight. 4.6 inches in Newcastle, five inches in Butler, 5.3 in Indiana. Biggest swath is going to be right along I-80 and then we'll follow into those elevated areas like the Laurel Highlands over the next 24 hours. Here's what you need to know. Snow arrives as soon as 3 o'clock. Could start to see an impact on roadways as soon as about 6 o'clock in Pittsburgh. So if you are trying to leave early from work, you probably want to be home by 6. Heaviest snow, though, is expected to fall from about 7 o'clock tonight through about 1 o'clock in the morning on uh, Thursday morning. This will be the second of three rounds of snow. There's a third one that gets here on Friday evening and then we'll start to warm up as we're heading into the weekend. Your seven day outlook, you can see it right there, including temperatures into the 20s all the way through Friday, a little bit warmer on the weekend. And I am now expecting to see some rain by the end of the game with the Steelers taking on the Pats on Sunday, 425. Hey guys, by the way, where can we watch that game? Right here on KDKA. Just double checking. <laughs>